And thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Leslie Rangel. And I'm Robert Burns. Hundreds of people filling the U.S. Capitol paying tribute today to former President George H.W. Bush. Texas Senators John Cornyn and Ted Cruz filed a resolution honoring his lifelong service to the United States of America after a special ceremony tomorrow, though, in the Washington, in the Washington National Cathedral. His casket will travel back to Texas and back to Houston. Fox 44 Steffi Lee is live and shows us how the town continues to honor him during this week of services. Steffi. Well, as the people of Houston prepare for President Bush to be escorted back here tomorrow, they're also reflecting on several specific areas that he helped contribute with in terms of the growth here in this city. The George Bush Inter Intercontinental Airport is one of many areas where his legacy lives on. Inside, there's a gallery documenting his early beginnings as a naval aviator to life after the White House. People have stopped by to pay their respects by the president's statue inside as well. The airport was renamed after Bush in 1997, and he also attended the 40th anniversary celebration. And he continued his love of aviation all through his life. He, he skydived to celebrate his 80th, 85th, and 90th birthday. So, you know, that aviation spirit is something that, you know, it pushes people to reach for more, to try to do more. And I think that, that commitment to public service, that commitment to excellence is evident in, you know, in, in his life. And it's something we try to mirror here at the Houston airport. Now, President Bush will be escorted back to Houston tomorrow, where he'll lie in repose here at the St. Martin's Episcopal Church. We will bring you the latest coverage as the nation continues to honor his service to our country and his life. In Houston, Steffi Lee, Fox 44 News.